Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, come in and say hello. You guys, come say hi, hi, hi. Hello, and what do you know? Do -do -do. I'm going to go through and show you all of what you're getting in your kit. And then we'll get started with the cover. Good morning. If you're watching the replay, it's probably because you're on the other side of the United States and it's wee hours of the morning for you guys. But hello, welcome, you guys. I'm a little excited about this kit. Um, let me show you the fabric. I was going to be outside and coffee dye, but it's raining here this morning. So I am promising I owe you guys a coffee dye experience. Um, it's not hard to do. It's kind of fun. I show you my way of doing it. There's about a hundred ways of doing it, but anyways... Um, you guys, I am so excited about this kit. So I paired this lovely blue, which is going to be our inside fabric with this fabric that I, I did find it at Walmart. So you can, you can purchase it at Walmart if you like. Um, and it's got all these sewing notions on it. It's got the sewing tomato. It's got cutters and buttons and pins and needles and not needles. Yeah. Needles and pins and more buttons. It says made with love. There is a right and wrong direction to this um, paper or mean paper uh, fabric. The made with love determines the dire the direction. We almost said a word that would not be a nice word to say. <coughs> when I fold this in half, I'm going to get that tomato right on the front there. So this is the fabric that comes in the kit. Um, and then all this other stuff I'm going to show you also comes in the kit. The kits are $50. They are in the shop. The link is in the description of the video. It is also right here for anyone that wants to grab one. There are a few left over there. Um, so let's look at what else comes in the kit besides the two sheets of fabric. Um, you're going to get a um, pack of some kind of bias tape. It may be open. It may not be open. I, I buy it at flea markets. It's vintage. So, you know, you'll get a pack of that. You're getting a piece of Ada cloth, which is um, for cross stitch. And you'll see what we're going to do with all of this stuff, I promise. Um, I tried to give lots of, like, tool. And uh, you'll get a, a length of this that we used yesterday for to close up our journal with. We're going to be using this today. Um <clears throat> you're getting a spool of thread and I want to give a shout out to Mama P. Cheryl over at Mama P's um, sold me all of the the spools. We're going to be using this on a um, tassel. We're going to put a tassel coming from the bottom of it to hang on the side of our journal. So that's the plan for that. You're getting some vintage uh, rick a Some rick a baby. Um, some pieces of um, ribbon, this ruffle ribbon, you're getting some of this. This stuff is amazing. Um, I'm not sure how much everyone's getting. It's not this much. This was the end of the roll. Uh, and some more like pieces of ribbon. This is some, uh, scraps of the chenille bedspread. Um, so we're, you'll get a scrap piece of this to use in your journal. Again, you're going to see where we're going to use all of this stuff. These are boot cuffs. And um, they're stretchy, and you're going to see what we're going to do with stretchy boot cuff um, because it's super fun. It is lace. It does have buttons already sewed on it. It's got scalloped edges, so very pretty. Um, you're getting uh, a length of this stuff, which is the um, size of the book. So the size of the book, you'll get a piece of this. You're getting the sewing. This is waxed thread. Now, let me tell you about the kits. Larry has been helping pack the kits. Larry has wound all of the thread for you guys. And it may be, it may be gray. It may be brown. It may be white. It could be beige. The, you know, this color beige. So it could be any number of those colors. Um, just know that you'll get some. All right, then let's take a look at the papers that you get. So right off the bat, standard in all of my kits is sheets of the junk journal paper. So this is all the junk journal paper. Now we're going to do something with the paper um, before we add it to our book because um, we're going to make it kind of sewing paper. And then um, we, I'm sending along a sheet of this. Look at this. Beautiful. We were going to coffee dye this today and we just, we're not going to be able to. 
it's all there, so we're flexible. Um, you're getting a piece of dictionary paper. You're getting a sheet of music paper. Um, I also included some of the poetry paper. Should be one sheet, not two, but some poetry paper. And then I bought a book from Amazon that had all of this kind of sewing stuff on it. Um, there, It's a book just of pages, and the pages... Um, are the the sewing machines. So we're going to be using this in our signature. Now, I was thinking on doing, we could do two things here. We could do a regular size journal. We could do a tall skinny. Either way, we're going to be using this because we can fold this and you still get the idea of it being um, sewing paper. So uh, you can also cut it out. There's a lot of things you can do. Amy, this one is right up your alley, a sewing journal. Okay, also, you're getting um, a length of this black lace. It's got three bumps on it that you're getting for to create some cool pockets if you want to. Everyone's getting a zipper. The zippers are all different colors. And wait till you see what I've planned for the zipper. And then uh, this is from a vintage sewing book. And... We're going to have to reinforce it because it is um, old. So I'm going to show you how to reinforce it, um, that it'll have tape, uh, notion tape, washi tape. Uh, and I haven't picked out what washi I want to use yet, but we're going to use washi tape to reinforce these so we can stitch these into our book as well. Um, you're getting a bingo card. You're getting a um, score pad. Everyone's getting a vintage pattern. Again, I can't determine what shape your pattern is in or what pattern you get. Um, this one right here, you can see the cover is torn. Um, it is this one. I kept this one because I know this one's going to be tough to work with the cover. It's got a price tag on it because I picked them up at, at thrift stores, wherever. But you'll get a vintage sewing pattern. And that's what we're going to use. Hey, Roxanne. That's what we're going to use to make our regular um, junk journal paper into some sewing paper. I've included a little coin envelope, a sheet of wallpaper, two envelopes because we're going to create an envelope piece to go in as our signature. You're getting the piece of felt and you're also getting a piece of, um, or you're getting the 9 by 12 uh, envelope. Now we're giving you bigger pieces of uh, felt than you need because we're going to make some little needle keeps, okay? So let me show you what is in the little tin. You'll get a little tin of goodies. This is the goodies that you get. You were disappointed. Yeah, I've been disappointed in my end too. So you'll get a little tin that has all of these goodies in it, okay? So all of these goodies, I'm going to work from this tin. Um, it's got a, I'm actually not going to use this uh, measuring tape because I'm going to use the other one because it's an oddball but everyone will get a measuring tape um, a little tiny sewing kit these I had when we went to Ohio and I had a bunch left you're going to get like a variety of buttons okay so whatever buttons it is that that Larry or I tossed into your tin that's what you're going to get so there's a variety of um, regular buttons okay not that one some regular buttons Okay, so you're getting just you're getting a pinch full, okay, and it went into the can. There is a little metal trim piece as a seamstress. I missed what she said. This is you, awesome, Mary Beth. There are kits in the shop. If you guys want to grab a kit, you can. There's some beads that are getting put into your kits this time, so that you can. We're gonna make a bead dangle charm thing with all of these nice brightly colored beads that do match they coordinate with your with your fabric okay um this is a ribbon clip you're getting one of those this has a this is came out of the button bin there's some wooden buttons that you'll get there are three you could paint them if you like or you could leave them plain i'm leaving mine plain and then you're getting two uh, stick pins that look like buttons. I purchased these specifically for this kit. Um, there are two pieces that say handmade. You're getting one little leather piece that says handmade with love. You're getting one little button that says handmade with love. It's a sewing book. It's got to be handmade with love, right? 
There are little gold star brads that I had extra from the 4th of July kits um, that are going in. You're, everyone's getting two clothespins. Look at these little mini clothespins because they're going to be so cool. All right. You're getting some bulb pins. I grabbed those just by the pinch full and I chucked those in there. Okay. And then you're getting two paper clips, a big one and a teeny tiny, a big one and a teeny tiny. And we're going to work with all of this stuff today, you guys. Sometimes we get to the, to the doodads and the trinkets and stuff, and they don't always all get used for the book. Sometimes I send you so much stuff that you can create more than one book with. So, you know, don't feel like you have to use everything that I sent you. Some of it is you're getting the supplies, do what you will with them. I'm just teaching you some techniques today. Today, you can purchase a kit. If you like, they're $50 in the Shopify. If you buy today, they will ship by Thursday um, because, you know, again, still just a, a one-man band. Larry works. This is the last week. So you could. Mary Beth, you need to. Did you get a kit? Did you order a kit already? Some people bought theirs already. Um, there's a little uh, shiny doodad in here. And then there's, there's um, some metal charms for, you know, uh, hanging off your signature, using for your dangles, wherever you want to clip them. Um, you're getting several of those this time also. All right. So you guys, we can get started with our cover. What I am not doing today is this is that I said I had an oddball, uh, tape measure. That's what this is. Um, and we're going to use this, um, for trim stuff. So I'm okay with it. If I get some red, the red matches. If I get some green, some green matches, the yellow, I'm okay with having the oddball. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to jump right into doing the cover. Make sure when you do your cover that you, um, that you don't do this in the center because you want, you want some of this felt to make, we're going to make a little tiny. Okay. Mary Beth, send me a message and I will pull a kit for you. I will hold one for you until you get your social security check. I do not mind. I, I do not mind, um, for Mary Beth. Okay. So take your envelope that you're getting. It's an, it's an envelope an envelope and just pull this open. I get mine at Staples. I'm adding a little glue to glue it up. Where's mama P? This is going to be wonderful. So all day today, we're going to work on this. Well, I should say all morning up until two o'clock. We're going to work on this intermittently till two o'clock. The Crafty Bunch then has an event that I am in and I will be live in that event at 515. If we're not finished, we'll do all of our finishing touches at 515. If we are finished, we'll go back to the Daisy book or to one of the other books that I have happening. All right. So I'm starting out using Fabertac. Fabri-Tac is a stinky glue. I think somebody best put it, it does smell like airplane glue, but, um, you know, we can make it work. So we're going to Fabri-Tac this. Then let me tell you, you guys can take this to your sewing machine and stitch the edgings if you like. Um, I am not going to show that on camera. Uh, I, I'm really thinking about doing it, but, um, I don't know. I'm just nervous about the glue on my, on my piece. Let's see. I'm going to go this way and this way, just like so. Perfect. Okay. Pull this back. If you've not seen it, cause you're new here, that's okay. Um, you hang out with us. If you've seen it a hundred times, we can still talk. Okay, so tell me in the comments, whoever had, you had clothes sewn for you, your mom, your grandma, somebody sewed clothes for you. Uh, tell me in the comments. We're just going to chit chat while I'm doing this. I'm going to ask some questions and you guys can answer and all of the things. I always forget this part. I can put it right onto the paper. You did, Barbara. You had clothes sewn for you. My, I, I don't know if it really counts as clothes being sewn. My grandma used to put um, patches on our knees when we wore our knees out 
Does that count? Uh, Nanny Yetter was not much of a sewer. Um, like, she didn't sew clothes for me. Uh, so I kind of missed out on that part. But my mom, my mom was a working mom in the 70s, okay? My mom drove school bus. Um, she drove for what we call Head Start, which is kind of like a preschool now. And um, so she didn't have, she didn't have a lot of time to do that. My dad was disabled. So she did what she could to provide for our family. And that meant driving a school bus every day. And my mom drove school bus until she retired. My mom was a school bus driver. That's what Nanny Etter did for her occupation. So good morning, Rhonda. We're working on our sewing journal is what we're working on today. So we're going to be on quite a bit this morning. I need a new glue, you guys. I feel like I just bought this one. Ooh. Okay, so uh, then in the comments, who has sewn clothes for somebody? You made Halloween costumes. You sewed actual clothing. You made a christening gown. You sewed a wedding dress. Tell me in the comments. I want to know. I'm curious today. I just want to know all of the things. Now, my friend Amy is on here, and I will tell you, my friend Amy... Um, she made her daughters, her daughter and my daughter went to prom together. They went to school together. Um, and she sewed, um, her daughters, she made her daughter's, uh, prom dress, which is kind of cool. Uh, Amy is who I go to or send my kids to when they need, um, alterations done because Amy is, I don't know if she likes to admit it or not. <laughs> You made a bunny costume. That's cool. That is so cool. So we're going to make a teeny tiny little itty bitty needle keep for in this journal. You guys, it's going to be so cute. You sew memory bears. That is awesome. I love that you do that. We should talk. We should talk because Alara grew out of... I know they're, they're memory... Do you, do you mean memory bears for like babies who have passed on or do you do them for like babies who outgrew their clothing i've sewn for others i made my niece a prom dress awesome that is so cool that you guys sewed for others i used to make barbie clothes that's what i did i made barbie clothes and even then i didn't do a lot of them <laughs> i was busy i had three children i was a stay-at-home mom and my job was to, to do all the things so yep she made Halloween costumes too. Okay, so there's our piece with our felt. Now the felt gives us a little bit of reinforcement. It also gives us some cushiony feel. You can use other things. If you don't have felt, you can use bubble wrap. You can use batting. Somebody recommended something that was like a, a pellon, um, something that you could iron on. Uh, those are all great things. I looked in some other things and I would have to raise my prices to the kit and I'm trying to keep it right in around the $50 mark. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover up our, we're going to cover our cover. So remember I said there is pay attention when you get it. Not that the made with love, if it turned on, if it turned on, if it turned out upside down, it wouldn't be like disastrous, but, um, you do want to be just a little cautious. So I want my maid with love to be the right direction. And there we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this in place right in the center of that big piece of fabric. So you're getting a big piece and you're getting a small piece. The blue is for the inside. The white is for the outside. So that's why I also use the white felt because it does help with, um, like seeing through at this point, if this was a brown envelope, you would see it through that white fabric. Now I was going to coffee dye the fabric and I just didn't get to do it. So there's that. We're going to add a tie closure to this right away before we put the blue part on. That's why I have the seam binding. I have, everyone's going to get some white seam binding. Again, I was going to do coffee dyeing and because I, weather is permitting me, you know, I'm weather permitting. Well, it's raining here. So, 
Okay, so who sews for fun? Who does like quilting um, or you sew other things? You know, memory bears, that's something, that's another thing to me. Um, so who sews, who sews that kind of stuff? Um, you make quilts. Oh, I used to make quilts. I, well, I used to make quilt pieces. Um, I've never finished a full quilt. <laughs> um, I used to make quilting pieces like, um, what are they called? Uh, placemats, table runners, that kind of thing. But gosh, that was so long ago. My kids were so little. You sew dolls? That's awesome. You quilt? Yeah, sometimes people find that stuff very relaxing, which is great. Um, I The most sewing I've been doing recently is the, the, the dyed class that I took with Michelle. Hello, Miss Dina. You can't sew a lick. Listen, I can sew a straight line. I can I can sew quilts that are basic quilts. I cannot sew. Listen, I cannot sew things that are these intricate, beautiful. I live in Amish country and um, well, near Amish country, I should say. Uh, Lancaster is not that far from me. We have a lot of um, Amish and uh, Mennonites in our area. They put me to shame. I can't do any of that stuff. <laughs> They sew like their own clothes, their own kids' clothes, you know, all the things they need. I made curtains one time. That was an adventure. I cried a little. <laughs> you started a quilt and haven't finished it yet? You make blankets? Oh, that's so sweet. I crochet. That's a form of sewing, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, my goodness. So, you guys, let's talk about what's coming up this week. I'm in an event tomorrow. Um, the time is 10, I think it's 1045. Did I see my time was on the, I posted the graphic. So, the time is on the graphic. Um, <clears throat> so, that's in the morning. And it is a yard sale, flea market find type event. Um, those are my kind of events, you guys, because I find a lot of this stuff at flea markets and all and I have um I have something really cool uh in store for you guys tomorrow so you'll want to tune in um you wish you could crochet well I can crochet and I can knit my sister taught me my great aunt and my sister taught me. my great aunt started to teach me but then she started to lose her eyesight um but then my sister took over my sister was a little strict about learning to crochet and she was always like chain stitch chain 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 tear it all out why she make you tear it out i don't know but one day i asked her i said why do you make us sew it sew it sew it, and then tear it all out and her answer was this and if my niece is watching she's gonna laugh because she's gonna remember her saying this she said then we learned a single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet tear it all out and she said i'm teaching you to tear it out so that you're not heartbroken when you skip a stitch or you mess up on the pattern <laughs> and you have to tear it out. Um, so I was like, oh, just great. I didn't need to learn that lesson. <laughs> so, but I was little. I was little when I learned. I was only um, about seven or eight years old when I started to learn. So there's that. There's Chris Hunter too. My goodness. All the gals are showing up today. They're all showing up today. You guys can get a kit. Um, if you missed what was in the kit, I showed it at the beginning of the video, but you'll get this fabric. You're getting the envelope that we're using as our base and the felt crocheted afghans. I know I was debating crocheting myself something for this. I can crochet, but listen, Chris Little provided me with some amazing crocheted flowers, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> Your mother-in-law taught you to crochet? That's awesome. So my sister also taught me to knit. I don't like to knit. I can knit. I just don't like it. And here's why I don't like it. I don't like it because it takes too long. And I am an instant gratification. Who else is like that? I'm an instant gratification person. I like to work with it fin and finish it. I like to be able to see results. I think that's why I like junk journaling and bookmaking so much because I can see the results almost instantly. Okay, so once you get your big piece... Um, glued down you want to flip it over and we're going to just do miter cutting on our corners and then we're going to pull it all in so um anybody still have their mother's or their grandmother's 
sewing box. I have my mom's. So, um, I can embroider, but I can't embroider. I can embroider, but I can't see to embroider. My eyes are, are like too bad for it. I used to do it a lot. I can cross stitch. I can embroider. My mom, my mom taught me to embroider. Um, if I can say anything that my mom actually physically sat and sewed, it was that. So, oh geez, you know what? Now I got to work quick because I put the glue down and I hadn't miter cut it. Oy! In towards my corner, out and away. Yikes. There is some kind of bird outside that is just howling its head off. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's squawking. I hope it's not her. It could be. That happens around here. I live in the wilderness, so. You taught your mom how to sew? You have your mom's button tin? That's cool. My sister has my mom's uh, sewing box. She asked for it, and I gave it to her. Because uh, I had my grandmother's. So, And my sister and I, we did not have the same. Uh, the grandmother whose uh, thing that I have was my from my dad's side. And we have different dads, so. Oh, look at you going, Chris. Look at Chris Hunter going, you guys. Uh, Thursday, we were talking about our events and stuff. Wednesday, I'm in the... I'm in the... This is event week for Jimmy Lou. Um, Thursday or Wednesday, I'm in the Crafty Bunch at 5.15. Um, and Thursday, we will have sewing journal class on Thursday. But um, it's going to be earlier. Then at 1 o'clock, I'm kicking us off here with the um, the Junk Journal Jubilee. You guys, we all got the same kit. And um, I have to print mine. I need to print mine. And um, we all got the same kit. We're all going to be working with the same kit. And um, I that is, that's my baby. I love that event. And um, there's an all-star lineup for that day, too. Chris Hunter is in it. Dina. We got uh, Cindy, Michelle, oh my goodness, I can't, uh, Grace, oh, Friday's kind of an off day, I don't have an event on Friday, but Saturday, I'm in a, like, it's kind of like a swap, this is so cool, you guys, I'm like excited for this, all right, we're going to take our piece of, um, this is seam binding, now, if you wet this, and you crinkle it all up and you let it dry crinkled. It'll be all crinkly and fun. Um, but for today's purposes, I wanted to just put it in. Okay, so we're going to put a little, I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac right here. And outward. Just like so. Whoops. Just like so. <laughs> and then we're going to just put this into it. Okay, and then this is going to be our closure. This is what I wanted to do for a closure with you guys this time. So this is what we're doing. Okay, now all we have to do is keep these out of the way. Okay, and I didn't do too bad at getting them in the same direction. And then we're going to cover it with this blue, with the blue fabric. You have a Viking. That's awesome. All right, so I was going to, oh, I need to trim this a little bit at the bottom. I was going to um, to cut off, this is the machining edge, okay? So when they, in the milling edge, I was going to cut it off and I thought, it's a sewing journal, don't cut it off, it'll be fine. It'll look great, the ladies will love it. So we're going to go downward here. Again, with this, it was folded up, you guys. So you might want to, if you feel you need to iron, iron it. Iron it if you gotta. We're going to just trim it straight across here, you guys. Taking my time. Just like that. This is going to be great. There we go. And we're going to start at the top here and work our way downward, I think. Oh, I went crooked. You guys, I'm so bad at this that I go crooked on this stuff all the time. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can't straighten it up a bit. That's why I could use my rotary cutter to cut it for you guys. Because I'm very bad at cutting it straight. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys don't need... You found a vintage sewing book. That's awesome. We're going to actually be making some of our own ephemera. I did not buy an ephemera pack this time. Um, I probably have some if I go and I look, but I just... You have five sewing machines. Go you. Go you. I have, I have two. I have an expensive embroidery machine. And then I have... Um, you know what? Let's go across... And then I have the, well, I had my mom's sewing machine. And like I said, when my mom's sewing machine went on us that day, everybody was telling me, oh, we're really sorry. My mom, did, I don't have memories of my mom sitting at that sewing machine. It wasn't an old sewing machine. Um, so I didn't do anything with it. It, it um, I donated it to a place that takes them, fixes them up, and then gives them to a charity that does sewing. So, uh, and then sometimes they just need the parts. So, quite honestly, that's what I chose to do with it. My mom would have probably done the same thing, in my opinion. <laughs> so, like I said, I didn't have a lot of memories of my mom sitting around that sewing machine sewing us clothing or anything like that. So, I was okay. All right, we need to go this direction a little bit. You do get a little wiggle room with this, but not a whole lot. So, you may end up just taking a little bit off your edge over here. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a little bit off. Don't cut your seam binding off though. Just like that. Good morning, Grace. You made all your tops in the 70s and curtains for all your kids' room in the 80s. Go you! That is awesome, you guys. I love to hear those stories. They're so wonderful. Sounds like y'all have some very good memories. So let me just tell you, you can use a book like this to journal in, to keep some sewing patterns in. There's a lot of things that you can do with it, quite honestly. Um, so... <laughs> You know, it, it's it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day. We're going to take a little break here, right around 9 o'clock, just so that I can, I have a phone call I need to make and a few other things I need to do. And then I'm going to come back on about 9.30-ish. That's Hopefully my phone call will go well. And um, when I come back on at 9.30, we're just going to stay on and we're just going to, we're going to craft till our brains fall out, okay? So... If you can join us, great. If you can't, that's okay too. You learned how to sew in the 4-H? That's awesome. So I use the spoon to spread it around so that I don't get a lot of this. But this blue seems to be pulling it through. Um, it'll dry pretty clear, so it should be okay. But um, it is what it is. <laughs> And we're going to do other, we're going to put pockets and things in the pockets and stuff. So even if it does stay a little on the shiny side, it'll be okay. So good morning, Miss Regina. Good morning, good morning. And then this afternoon at 5.15, I'll be taking a break at 2. And then this afternoon at 5.15, I'll be live with um, the Crafty Bunch. My friend Angie runs the Crafty Bunch events. If you are a creative and you have a page and you'd like to be considered for placement in the Crafty Bunch, um, you should send a message to Angie at the Crafty Bunch by Rustic Daisies. And um, she does like, she looks at your page. She does a little interview with you. And, um, you know, she'll help you fix things that maybe might need fixing before she allows you in. Or, um, you know, she... We'll tell you how to get in, all the things. Message her. She's got the details. I keep thinking something's on my screen because I keep seeing this big blast of blue. <laughs> so then all you have to do is you have to take this and fold this in half. Okay, fold it in half. And then you just want to get it. And I usually just take my ruler and stick it in there to give it something to fold around. 
okay and that's the soft job soft journal cover that's it easy peasy now you can take it to the sewing machine and you can stitch it all around and do all the fun things if you like entirely up to you you can at this point add pockets or belly bands if you like before you take it to the sewing machine i have given you enough like fabric stuff in here that you can do any of those things with okay um i'm looking for one in particular black piece and i can't see here it is like I can't seem to find it. All right, so a couple of things. You're getting some of this Ada cloth, so you could you could use this for a pocket if you wanted to. And again, it's up to you. You could, if you are a cross stitcher, you could cross stitch something cool on there, and you could add that as a pocket. I'm going to be using this on tags and stuff later. What I am going to use is I'm going to use this um, this stuff right here, and you're getting three bumps. You're getting one, two, three bumps for this. So I'm just going to cut this back to the three bumps so that I'm using the exact same thing you guys are. Okay, and then what I'm doing is I'm folding this in half like so, and I'm just cutting it straight across. So we're getting a straight cut here. So if I pick up and use something that is not in the kit, I will tell you. All right, and then we're going to add this here and this here for our pocket. Okay, and then we're going to cut it off. So three sides, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then if you have any like little bitty lace, trim work, any of that kind of stuff that you want to add, um, you can. And I'm thinking I might want to add some of this just dangling down off the bottom. That is not in the kit, you guys. Um, any lace or trim work, this is really pretty trim work. It would contrast very nicely. Um, the black and the white will contrast and the pocket will still be pretty um, evident. I cleaned off my desk to have room today, you guys, and I have like not a lot sitting here. But um, it's going to hold that pocket in there very nicely. Um, you don't have enough to do a pocket this direction, but if you have your own lace, you could add your own pocket there if you want. But I'm just leaving that netting, that, that uh, whatever that is, I'm just leaving that in place as well. So... Let me just, this is not straight right there. And that's sort of going to drive me batty. Okay, so not on your fold line. Next to your fold line is where you want to add some fabric tack. Okay. Next to, but not on. Because you want it to be able to bend for our signature. Okay. Okay. Her mom does have an awesome sewing room. No joking. All right. And then on the opposite, whoops, on the opposite side of that as well, we're going to add some glue there. And you know what? We're going to go right along the bottom down here while we're at it. So I just kind of work in sections so that I'm not like, going all wonka doodle okay and then we're going right down the edge here Woo! hello i have a dripper about to happen a big one press that down go over here and just press that down okay now what we're going to do is we're going to trim this up we're going to trim this right off of here Do you guys hear it? It's going pshh. Keep these because you can put um, iPad or bulb pins on them. You can clip them to other places. You can use them for on top of your tags. All kinds of fun things, okay? So no joking. Some of this I am like playing by ear. I'm not sure what direction it's going to go. So y'all are going to have to like just hang out with me and see where we use all this stuff at. This trim work is not included in your kit. Um, but I'm going to use it and right after I clean off my, uh, if you guys saw Dina from designs by Dina was talking about how 
this fabric tack once it gets so low it kind of has a mind of its own it does exactly what it wants to do whenever it wants to do it and it's a real kind of pain in the behind so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do this now you could take your piece to the sewing machine uh to to add um edging you know a uh, sewn edging but i gotta be honest with you i i don't you know i should have did around the whole thing and that one looked really cool but oh well now we're gonna go here cut that off see how that white just contrasts against that very nicely and then it kind of covers up our little rough edges too so before we go messing around and sewing in a signature we have to kind of let this set up and dry Okay. Okay, Dana. See you soon. See you soon, Miss Dana. It's raining. I can hear it like pitter-pattering on the roof. How it's pitter-pattering up there. So we'll take a little break then. Um, like I said, I have a phone call I need to make. And... I have to kind of get set for to do the signature but I want to show you what we're going to do with those papers to create the signature uh what time is it it's five of so we could we could work for a little bit until my phone call starts to come through um but look at now we have here's the outside of our cover we're going to do something cool on the outside we've got our inside with trimmed out and now we've got two pockets super cool um Good morning. I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Tevrick. I'm glad to be done with that glue. Okay, let's set this to the side. And I'll show you what I'm planning to do here. Um, where, where have you gone? Oh, I found my other hole puncher. That was missing. Okay, we're going to take this paper. And we're going to turn it into sewing paper using stuff. Okay. So everyone's getting a pack of this. Hello, hello, hello. And you can do a couple things here. Pull all of your goodies out, okay, from your... Um, now listen, someone may have sewn this, someone may not. We're going to keep the guys, the dudes are going to make it into the book. We have the backside is pretty ravaged, and then we also have that price tag. Okay, so what I want to use here is I want to use this, and I want to use this. Okay, and what we're going to use this, where the heck is my paintbrush? I had a paintbrush sitting all here ready for us for today. I bet you yeah, I took it out of here yesterday when I cleaned up some things. Nope, here it is. Okay, this also is going to need some time to dry. So if you're going to do this to all your papers, then lay them all out and get them ready to go. I'm going to leave this one alone. And we're going to do it to this one. And possibly these two. So we have three with and three without. You need a decent paintbrush. And then this is called matte medium. You can also use Mod Podge if you like. Oh, geez. I didn't even think that this stuff might not want to open. <laughs> Another lovely morning where you are. Yeah, not here. It is rainy and icky and all the things here i don't expect it to be a very pleasant day here good day to stay inside and work on a journal there we go okay so matte medium is a little on the sticky side you guys so you want to be um a little careful with whatever surface that you're working on and we're just gonna we're just gonna take sewing pattern is what we're gonna do and we're just gonna add it and wherever it goes it goes okay and you can do it just like so you can find a piece that is going to cover more so the whole thing like so i kind of like this to cover this now you should be able to kind of see that paper through let's get some of this happening so matte medium is a it's kind of like a glue it works sort of like um mod podge so you could use mod podge for this and that would be okay and we're just gonna stick this down so we're just mod podging or sticking it 
to create some nice paper out of our maybe not so nice things. So maybe you have paper that you want it. You have a drought. Yeah. Is it better to have darker paper? It would be, but, um, honestly, I think it's gonna, it'll be okay. Now you could get wrinkles in this, but it's a junk journal. So, you know, be okay with wrinkles and be okay with like folds. Um, kind of, you think about it, patterns, they sort of get that way. Now you'll see it seep through some, and we're going to pounce it with our brush here at the end. Um, but this is what I want to do for all of, not all of my pages, but for several of them. And you can use matte medium, you can use Mod Podge, watered down glue, whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't like using Mod Podge because it gets sticky in the humid. Like when it gets really humid, it gets sticky and then it's like, to me, I don't really care for it. So this will be nice to give this a break. I should have did some of this last night so it was ready for us today, but um, I've just been so tired, you guys. That bridal shower took a lot out of Jimmy Lou, let me say. Okay, and we're just going to scoot this over there. And if you have a piece that kind of like sticks out there, that's okay. So this has jacket back on it. We're going to cut this off here. You can tear it up if you want to make kind of like a collage. You're welcome to do that. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so... Let's just, we're going to use this shape of the paper. See how it's wrinkling some? That's okay. It's going to give it a really cool look. Your grumpy granddaughter. My daughter is grouchy, you guys. And we can't figure out why she's so grumpy. Maybe she misses me. Do you think that's it, Elizabeth? You think she misses me and that's why she's grumpy? Perhaps. Oh, I was telling you guys about Saturday's event is like a swap. And I'm super excited for it. Okay, so I'm just taking this with the brush and we're just pouncing it to kind of let it seal through all the way. <clears throat> Make sure you keep your brush a little on the damper side. Oh, now all the ladies here are going to give you... <laughs> it goes... Yeah, maybe she's going to get to tell her she gets to see me tomorrow. So, pounce, don't brush. Brushing can tear. It's just like using a napkin or tissue paper. But just kind of pounce, pounce, pounce. And I'm only doing one side of it. I'm leaving the other side plain for the journal, for writing on and stuff. And like I said, I didn't do a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, ephemera pieces because I figured I, what I had here I could use and what I could didn't have I could pull out of a book or something like that. So there's our piece there. We're just going to sit this to the side to dry. Let it dry. Don't stack them on top of each other or you will have a hot mess, let me tell you. All right, let's use this one. So this says jacket back and I think I like definitely want this on here. It's not going to cover the whole thing out to the edges there but you can definitely overlap if you want to find some smaller pieces this says jacket cuff on it this would be fun well, I thought it said jacket it does it says jacket cuff on it right there so you can overlap as well so use your pieces everybody's getting in the kit if you're purchasing a kit everybody's getting a, a, a I can't promise it's super old um pattern but you know they're not brand new from the walmart let's put it that way so they're gonna have tears they're gonna have pieces that are maybe cut wrong or whatever but um it'll look good okay so see how it wrinkled right there i'm okay with that just be okay with it if something isn't right just be okay with it Hold on, some glue there good morning miss sherry short Okay, so here in a minute, we're going to do a little question and giveaway. Okay, so I'm feeling very generous, uh, very happy. So um, I want to do a, it's not going to be a huge giveaway. So don't be thinking you're getting like a whole kit or anything like that. But um, 
I just feel impressed that I want to give something away. And it'll be something that you can use in your journal. So, in your sewing journal, if you're making one. Um, I got to keep it to only people in the United States because shipping to Canada and others is very um, expensive. So, we're going to do just a little giveaway. Okay, so I'm doing pounce in the outside. It didn't trim it. It doesn't matter if you trim it after it's dry or before it's dry. Uh, I know like on boards, it, it matters. Um, on paper, it doesn't matter as much. So, and just do this to, you know, do it to all your pages. If you want to, you're getting an entire pattern. So, and you're going to see me, we're going to use this, these patterns. We're going to make some tags. We're going to make some other things. So, um, and then I'm just setting this off to the side. Just let it dry. You can use your heat tool on it and warm it up and do all the things if you want. Entirely up to you. Um, I keep thinking I want to use this, but I'm, then I'm thinking maybe I don't. Um, use some pieces that are unique. Like, look at the pocket. That would look really cool. That's going to look cool on there. So use some pieces that are cool looking as well. You know, go for those smaller pieces. The pieces that are rounded. And what is this? Ooh, this is the side pocket. This was big. And it says cut two. Let's use this one. Save this one for a journal tag. Right? How fun is this? So we're creating our own kind of paper. All right. Now you can buy printables and print stuff out. Um, I had a couple of printables sitting here that I was going to use. Uh, not sitting here, but on my... Um, on my uh, computer so we could do that and then I decided not to because you're already if you want to purchase this kit I didn't want you to have to decide um, but you guys how fun is this starting on Saturday morning before the event starts that I'm in that's ATC uh, before the event starts then um, you guys uh, I'm going to be doing, I'm starting the 12 days of Christmas, uh, and we're going to do one a day, every day. We're starting, I think we're starting Thursday, to be honest with you, and it's going to be a paper bag journal. There'll be a kit available, and the tags that are part of the kit were designed by my friend Cynthia at Guided Creation, and um, those tags will be, if you purchase a kit, um, the kit You'll be able to uh, get the tags printed. Larry and I will be printing the tags is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> um, so there's that. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Good morning to everyone, you guys. All right. So we're just going to press that down at our edges out there. And, you know, kind of smooth it some if you can without tearing it. Because if you have a lot of glop, there was a lot glopped on there. If you have a lot glopped on, it's going to take forever to dry. So, yeah. And I'm going to show you other things to do with the pattern pieces as well. So, you know, we're just going to keep on going. Here's the piece that says shirt sleeve. How fun is this? This is fun. <laughs> We are having a good time. All right. So you get the general idea of what my plan was here with, ooh, with giving you guys a pattern piece or a pattern in this kit. The kit link is in the description of the video. So if you're looking for that, that's where it's at. Hello, Denise. Yeah, you're welcome. You can watch all day free. The class today is free. And then if you um, want to purchase a kit, you can. But the tutorial today is free. You can just hang out all day and get ideas, gather gather your own supplies. The reason I offer kits is because some people just don't want I, Listen, I would rather buy a kit than go do all the shopping too, but <laughs> it 
it is what it is, right? Get it wrinkles and all, man. Don't be afraid. Don't be a embrace the wrinkles. The patterns are wrinkled up when they're put away anyway, so embrace them out, guys. Oops. I got definitely got glue on my thing right there. Do do who else is thinking? Ooh, this is a good idea. So it is gonna make your paper wrinkly. Um, but it's gonna look really cool. So em embrace the wrinkles. That's what I was telling you. Embrace the wrinkles. So, and then the matte medium I like because you can use it for a lot of different things. Yep, cookbook class on Thursday. Yes, yes, ma'am. Still doing the cookbook class. Yep, -er. See, there's little pieces like this that we can use throughout. And do, do, do. You love this? I know. I love this too. I'm having a good time. It's re This is relaxing to me. Careful. Careful, Jimmy. We are getting a little excited there. And any paper that you um, use will be fine. Okay? So you could use a colored paper if you want to use something colored or something vintage-y. Um, feel free. Okay, so this is going to need a little time. Look at that bubble. Oh, it's going to be good. Um, this needs time to sit and dry. So you're going to give me a little break. And I'm going to go make my phone calls. And we're going to let this dry. So if you are crafting along, you'll have a stopping point to get caught up. One more here. I did all six. I was only going to do not all six, but um, that's okay. So this part here, see this here? We're going to use this as um, part of our signature. So what I'm going to do is when we come together again, I'm going to show you how you can slice this to create a little booklet. So that way you have a little booklet to stick inside okay so keep those you could also use some of this to do exactly what I'm doing there okay um, I love that this here this piece here has all these dictionary of sewing terms so that I definitely want as part of the signature that's going to be in this book and I don't want to lose this so keep those pieces yeah, you can use the sewing pattern for any junk journal. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's a shirt cuff. An elastic guide. There's another pocket, you guys. What's this? Ooh, what's this one show? Open them all up. I didn't open them all up, but open them all up and see what they show. Look, that one right there, it shows the pocket. Like the pocket placement. And I kind of like that. Let's use that. So yeah, you can use this kind of stuff in any junk journal. I know I was having so much fun. I just couldn't, I couldn't control myself. And you're going to see other things that we're going to do with this paper too. So I just wanted to show you how you can take junk journal paper that comes in these kits and use them for something um, kind of extra. I want this, I wanted to say shirt front right there. And with matte medium, you do have a little bit of wiggle room if you do get a wrinkle. So keep that in mind. Um, they're going today, Kit, um, Kit Grace. They're go the kits are getting mailed today. Um, you should have yours by Wednesday, I would think. So, yepper. Oh my gosh, it even shows like where the buttonholes should go. This is like way past 
me like I could sew this according to the pattern I think I have enough understanding of sewing to do it but when it starts showing like buttonholes and stuff like that I'm I tap out I'm like that's it I'm out no buttonholes for Jimmy Lou <laughs> no buttonholes for Jimmy Lou Jimmy Lou does not do buttonholes so there's that We have some over here. I just need a little on the edge here to hold it down. Those wrinkles are yummy, you guys. I'm telling you. How fun. So even if you have like torn pieces of pattern that are icky and yucky, you can still... <laughs> yeah. They're easy enough to do once you understand it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. It's all good. All right. So I'm going to go... We're going to let this stuff sit here and kind of dry on its own. I'll come back and check on it. Um, give me, let's see. We'll meet back here at 10 o'clock. Okay, 10 o'clock, let's say. Yep, ATC kits are also going today. Yep. So if you don't know what she's talking about, I'll show you at 10 o'clock when we come back on the ATC kits. And um, I already showed what's in the sewing kit, so you guys can check that out. Um yeah, I bet you, Carol. I bet you they do. So I will chat with you guys at 10 o'clock. Go get some breakfast, hang out, get reset, get ready to go. And um, like I said, I'll check these in, right before I come back live. And if I have to dry them up, I will. So you guys have a good morning. Enjoy your coffee and your brunch and your breakfast and all the fun things. And um, oh, I was going to pick a winner for some happy mail. Let's do some happy mail winner picking. Ready? Um, we are going to do scrolling and stop, scrolling and stop. And I'm landing on Miss Grace. Grace, I'll put your happy mail in with your kit that you're getting. So yay, Grace Abate. Yes, Jennifer, your replacement package will go today also. Yep. I have that to fit in between my day today as well. So, uh, Eastern 10 Eastern. So I will see you guys then. Um, do you guys want some shout outs? Let's do some shout outs quick too. Sherry Shorts, Sue Blaylock. We got Barbara, um, Os Osborn, Missy Harrington, Patricia Rutherford. Hi, Deborah McCurdy and Debbie Zerker Fritz, Keisha Powers. Hello to Vin Virginia Johnson and Margaret. Hello, Denise Gayhart Winton and Susie Emmerich. We got Ellen, um, Miss Ellen per Pergande. I think that's how you say it. Mary Beth Moore Faulkner. Hello to Lisa Kidd and Allie Tum. Oh, you guys with the hard names are here today. Tom Borello. We got Christina Martin, Roxanne Douglas, and Wings of Hope Crafts are here. So welcome, guys. So glad that you're here. And I'll see you guys all back here at 10 Eastern. All right, see you soon, guys. Remember to always be kind because you never know what someone's going through. See you soon.